welcome to the Wrestling Philosophy Show, where we discuss unique perspectives and beliefs on the sport of wrestling. Give us a follow or subscribe on various social media platforms, including YouTube, Spotify, and Apple Podcast. Enjoy the show. Wrestling Philosophy here with Sam Shalvey, Otterbein, Westerville South grad. How are you doing today, Sam? I'm doing awesome, Jared. How are you? Good, good. Glad uh, we've been talking via social media. Obviously, you have a big following on there and, uh, you know, from Central Ohio. So um, give our listeners a little bit of a recap of your, your past wrestling experience and where you're at today. Yeah, so I wrestled at uh, Westerville, High, Westerville South High School for uh, four years um, from t- 2013 to 2017. Uh, I started wrestling in eighth grade, so I didn't have a lot of experience when I first started. Um, kind of took me a little bit to kind of get immersed in it. Um, but I really started to get passionate about it after my freshman year when uh, we had a kid qualify for the state tournament. Uh, he was a senior and, uh, you know, he was the team captain guy. I kind of looked up to him as a freshman. So when he qualified for the state, that kind of motivated me to do all the do off season stuff, you know, and um, immerse myself in the sport. So from that point on, I just kind of became obsessed and I wanted to, you know, I wanted to be a state qualifier my senior year, just like how that kid did. So um, that's really what kind of got me in and never, I never looked back from that on. And then uh, my, after I graduated, I, I never qualified for the state tournament, but after my senior year, uh, or actually it was before my senior year, Otterbein University, announced that they were uh, adding adding wrestling as a varsity sport. So, um, and they announced uh, Brent Rass that it was going to uh, come become the head coach. So my senior high school was Otterbein's first season as, as a program. Uh, they brought, I think they dropped wrestling back in 74 and they, they brought it back um, my senior high school. So I, I, I went and watched some of the matches that year and um, just kind of dibbled and dabbled and kind of saw what they were about. And then I, uh, in March, my senior year, March of 2017, I decided to, uh, commit to Otterbein for wrestling. So then 2017-18, Otterbein is my freshman year, and then I've been there ever since. So it's been an awesome ride so far. That's awesome. So you started in eighth grade. What was kind of the catalyst? What started you into wrestling? It, you know, that's for most people that's late. Some people that's the perfect time. But um, I guess what drew you into the sport? Yeah. So I, I had a buddy uh, in middle school. I went to Westerville uh, Genoa middle school down the street. Um, that's actually the feeder that feeds into Westerville central, but we actually moved down uh, into the Westerville South school district um, during my eighth grade year. So I kind of finished out at, at that middle school and then went to Westerville South, but I had a buddy that went to the, that was on the wrestling team. We played football together. I was a big football guy uh, from like fifth grade all the way through. I played all, uh, all through high school too, but um, one of my buddies on the eight on the eighth grade football team, you know, I was like, hey, you should wrestle. You know, I was I was playing left guard on the O line, and this guy was the left tackle. He's this big heavyweight guy, and uh, he's like, hey, you should come out and wrestle. You know, help you out a lot with football. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, I'll give it a try. You know, and so I went out and tried it. And I, I'm not the kind of kid that likes to quit things. You know, once I try, it, I want to like stick with it. So um, even though I didn't really have a lot of success the first year, I kind of I wanted to get better at it, you know, and I knew that I was going to go on to wrestle at South. And I was like, I'm for sure like doing that, you know, like it wasn't even a question for me. Um, like I'm going to go on to wrestle Westerville South and just try to keep getting better and do the best I can with it. So that's kind of how I got started in the sport. So thankfully, you know, that, that interaction happened, you know, because that's re- wrestling's really changed my life and kind of made me the person I am today. So I'm really happy that that kid, you know, was able to convince me to come out for the sport in eighth grade. You know, I, it was actually him and then uh, I had a couple other buddies that kind of talked me into it too. So, um, and it's funny because I, I don't really keep keep in contact with those guys much anymore. They're mm-hmm. we kind of went, went our separate ways in life, but you know those guys are like the catalyst for kind of where I am today. So it's kind of funny how it all works out like that. But that that's cool. No, at that point in your life, right? That they were a, obviously a big part that changed your path. So just pretty cool. Um, so now you are you are senior year, right? Um, I came, you know, I we were following each other on on socials, but. Um, you know, you've launched a YouTube channel, right? With kind of a behind, behind the scenes uh, look at what a college wrestler goes through. And what really caught my eye is, you know, you're doing your home workouts and you talked about, you know, I'm focused on the process right now. I'm focusing on getting better. You know, it's not about wins and losses. Um, I guess before we dig into your YouTube channel, which that that's what caught me up. You know, I was like, man, I got to get Sam on and hear his philosophy and take on the sport because it's really interesting. And here he is a senior. The day and time, you know, day was we're living in now, which is kind of off. But um, I guess what it's what's it like to be senior year, you know, 
last year, you know, closing on, on your junior year. Now this season, you know, who knows what, what's going on here we are in January, but I guess what's it like to be a senior in these times right now? Um, it's definitely, um, it's definitely strange, you know, like I didn't, I would never think that I would be, you know, competing during a time like this or, you know, involved in like athletics during a time like this. And there's just so much going on in the world, you know, um, it's, it's a really unique situation, but, uh, I, I think the cool thing is that, you know, that the NCAA actually, um, announced that this is like a free year for all, all the NCAA wrestlers. So, um, all the wrestlers, you know, have, have the option to come back next year. This is kind of like a free year of eligibility. So, uh, I actually did decide that I wanted to come back next year um, for a fifth year. So, awesome. I, yeah, so I will be on, on the team next year, which that, I'm really happy and thankful about that, you know, that that this isn't my last year competing, you know, uh, the college level. So so that, I'm really excited about that. But, yeah, it, it, is, it is definitely crazy times. But um, I've definitely you know tried to um, come in with the mindset of just like folks on getting better during these times. Uh, because, you know, we all had our off season taken away from us this year, you know, no one was known. A lot of people weren't able to do a lot of stuff. Um, guys were doing stuff on their own as far as working out, training, whatever resources they had available to them. But um, everyone's just kind of in the same boat as far as they didn't, you know, no one could get together and really do a lot of stuff. I know some guys were kind of doing some stuff like low key, whatever, but um, you know, it, it was just tough. So it's, it's really going to come down to like who's kind of worked the hardest, who's kind of made the most gains over this off season with the resources that they had available or not had, but, you know, just kind of made the most of what they had, whatever. So um, that's kind of the, the, the boat that I've been in just kind of doing the best I can with, with what I have. And obviously I was able to like buy, buy those mats, you know, which that, yeah, that, from that Coach Roberts, right. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah, so yeah, tell us, yeah. Yeah. So you, here you are in quarantine, right. And you, you, you senior, you, you spend your own money on some wrestling mats to put yeah, your apart- yeah. the living room of your apartment or where are they at? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah, so my, yes. Yeah, so my dad and I actually live together uh, here in this apartment um, okay. in Westerville, uh, about 10 minutes down the road from Otterbein. And I, uh, and I kind of asked my dad, I said, Hey, like, you know, could we get, you know, these, if I buy a couple, like 10 by 10 wrestling mats, you know, could we, you know, stuff like a wrestling room in the garage, you know? Um, and cause I kind of measured the space, you know, I was like, yeah, I could fit two 10 by 10 mats in here. These home, home, uh, lightweight wrestling mats and some resolite, whatever. So I kind of had that idea because I was like, I want to train, you know, like I, I don't want to get behind and lose this off season. So, um, it kind of took me a while to save up the money to do that, you know, but eventually I got there and then. I, you know, I, and I, I knew about coach Roberts from Zeb, you know, I was, I watched all Zeb's videos. And so, and I heard Zeb was like a Resolite, you know, guy, he kind of worked for Resolite. And I was like, okay, yes, I'll, or I'm sorry, not Zeb, I'm Kevin. I heard uh, Kevin K Rob was a, a Resolite guy. And I was like, okay, so I'll just uh, hit up K Rob, you know, he seems like a cool guy, you know, and so he can kind of give me the end there. And I'm an Ohio wrestling guy, watch Zeb stuff. So we got kind of a connection there. So I just emailed K Rob and then ended up purchasing those mats. Uh, they came in, um, Right, right around the end of December um, here. So I've, I've okay. had them for a little bit now, but uh, for about a month or so. So I've been, I've been using those, you know, a whole bunch now. So uh, getting a lot of good workouts in so far. And um, yeah, it's been awesome stuff. And uh, so, yeah, th- that's been a huge plus for me. I, I'm, you know, trying to just get as many advantages as possible, you know, in the competition and just, just everyone out there, you know, just trying to get as many reps in as possible. One, one of the kind of new philosophies I have about the sport that I really never kind of developed really until this off season from just watching a lot of film was um, just getting reps in with like techniques. Like I used to be the kind of guy that would go to all these different uh, camps and clinics and uh, clubs, you know, and I would just think that just by doing work, I was getting better, but I would just, I was working on, on, on all these different techniques. So I had a good foundation of like all these different techniques, but I was like a jack of all trades, a master of none. Kind right. of thing, you know? And so uh, the, the mindset that I have now is more, just working on one or two things, you know, and just mastering those, just getting thousands of reps. And I remember I, uh, a few years back, I was watching like a Jeff Jordan video, or I think it was Jeff Jordan, but he was talking about uh, getting like 10,000 reps in. Like he was saying like 10,000 reps equals mastery. And so uh, when I saw that video, I kind of like, I kind of thought back on that this off season. I was like, yeah, I do remember seeing that video, um, you know, and I kind of thought to myself, I was like, I don't know if I, I don't know, I don't, I don't count my reps. You know, I don't know how many reps I've gotten with any of the moves that I hit, you know, I'm sure it's a lot, but I don't know the exact number, you know, so one thing I, I want to start doing, you know, I've kind of been doing with, with some of these home workouts I've been doing is I've been like counting my reps, you know, and okay. I, I like write them down. I like, I'll keep track of how many reps I did this day, how many high crotches I did, how many single legs I did. So then I can like tangibly like see like how close I am to 10,000. And then I kind of see like how close I am to like so-called like mastery of the technique, you know, 10,000 like quality reps. And then it's like, it's kind of my goal with like techniques, with a few techniques 
instead of trying to just get, oh, five reps, you know, five reps here, five reps there of all these different moves, you know. I, I just make the same move just a whole bunch of times, you know, just, just stick with that. Because I, I just watched so much – I watched, like, a lot of film this offseason of, you know, some high-level guys, and I – and I, I just saw they were hitting the same moves every match. You know, they wouldn't even, like, do other stuff. I'm like, this dude just does the same exact thing every single match, you know. And it's, like, kind of clicking with me. I'm like, these guys just literally do the exact same thing. I'm like, they probably rep this thousands of times, you know. And and they don't they don't hit all these tilts and stuff. Like, if they're a leg riding guy, all they do is leg riding. If they're a tilt guy, all they do is tilts. They don't even – they don't mess around with all, all this different stuff. And they don't have 50 gazillion turns. They just have a couple turns, a couple moves on their feet that they hit, you know, where it's, like, a high crotch or single or a – whatever, you know, fireman's carry. They just get their reps with those moves, and they're, that, that's why they're elite, you know. So that's kind of what I want to start doing. And that, I've, I've never really, really done that up to this point in my career. I've, I've just always kind of gone to the practices and kind of done, done what the coaches t- tell me to do, you know. And um, and I feel like in a way that's kind of – I mean, it's, it's given me a good foundation for, like, how to do all these different moves and stuff, but I've never – gone all in with like one thing so that's right. kind of what i want to start doing now with the with the moves i feel are like the high level moves that can work at the elite level and be the elite level guys awesome awesome so obviously you're passionate about the sport so what was the inspiration behind the, the youtube page and you know dig it in and kind of peeling back the curtain on, on a college athlete yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I, I actually kind of uh, stemmed the, the the idea of the YouTube channel stemmed kind of last March, um, and the reason why is because my my younger brother who uh, he wrestled at Westville South High School uh, down the street here um, where I went. He's two years younger than me. He graduated in 2019. He was a district qualifier senior year and went uh, two and two districts. But he uh, he he's kind of big in the fitness industry now. Um, he's kind of he's he's very passionate about the fitness industry. Um, and he's involved in bodybuilding, powerlifting, and all that. And he's uh, he's actually a sophomore down at Ohio State now. Um, but he's so he actually created uh, like a fitness Instagram account. I think it was like during his junior high school. And uh, he's kind of slowly grown that over the past couple of years. Um, and then right around the time it was like about this past July, sometime around there, he was at like six thousand followers or something like that. Um, and then all of a sudden he just like blew up. Like he, right now he's at like thirty six thousand followers on his Instagram. He went from like like he, he had just passed 10 K like this past July or something like that. And now he's at 36,000. So I really saw like how he just shot up and grew just like instantly. Mm-hmm. And, and I, I, I was also kind of uh, interested in the fitness industry too. Like we, he was watching a lot of these different uh, fitness influencers on YouTube, like guys like uh, David Lee and Dylan McKenna, um, Ryan Dangler, who also goes to Ohio state, who Jacob is actually good friends with now. Um, they hang out a lot and work out a lot together and, Ryan's big on Instagram too and YouTube. And so we would, we would watch all these guys' videos, you know, and I was kind of watching it too with Jacob. And I would, that was kind of how we bond a little bit. I would, I was kind of trying to show interest in what he was passionate about. So we could kind of bond over that, talk about the videos and stuff. And because he, he, he was, he, I mean, he's also a wrestling guy. He loves wrestling too. But just like how I'm extremely passionate about wrestling, that's like how he is with the fitness industry. And then he's like, he's kind of passionate about wrestling. Like he still loves wrestling a lot, but not as much as I do. That's kind of how I am with the fitness industry. Like I, I, I can kind of talk it with them, but mm-hmm. I'm not like all in like how he is with the fitness industry. So we, we both kind of found our passions and he's gone all in with the fitness industry. And now I'm trying to go all in with like the wrestling industry. Like I'm trying to create a YouTube channel and uh, be consistent with it, post a lot of videos um you know post consistently on instagram just try to um become like a social media influencer in the wrestling industry essentially is kind of my goal just like how he's doing with his you know uh youtube channel he, he created a youtube channel also and he's got videos on there his youtube channel isn't doing as well as his instagram is because he's been more consistent on instagram he still needs to be a little bit more consistent with youtube but it's tough you know being like a college student and everything he's down in Ohio mm-hmm. state and so it's tough to balance all that but it is possible you know guys do it like his buddy Ryan Dangler does it. And so we, we both kind of look up to him as far as like balancing school and YouTube and that whole, the whole nine yards. But um, it's kind of like a, a thing right now. That's kind of, if you can take advantage of that and like put the grind into that, you can be really successful with that and you uh, kind of make a lot of money doing that. So um, that's kind of what I'm trying to do with the wrestling industry essentially. Uh, and that's so that idea stemmed from my brother. So. Cool. Cool. Yeah. The social followers and, <clears throat> like you said, you got to put time to it. Not, not like wrestling, right? It's it's a slow, long, long game. People, you don't wake up with one one day with thirty six thousand followers, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so that's pretty cool. So so you launched the YouTube page, right? And it's kind of behind the scenes. I know you you share your workouts, and I know you had some some funk. You had to sit out, so it's kind of nice you had that yeah. mat, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. It, yeah. 
So it's kind of nice. You had your own, own place to work out. Um, so where do you see yourself, you know, in, in two years when you graduate, you know, what's your degree? Are you planning on using that? Or do you want to, you know, go all in on wrestling? You know, what, what's, I guess, what's some of the goals? Yeah. Yeah. So it's funny you say that. So um, the past three years I was majoring in, uh, I, was, I was trying to become a, um, a high school teacher, like or mm-hmm. a middle school, high school teachers. I wanted to coach, you know, cause I was involved in coaching at Westville South the past three years as well, you know, kind of with my, kind of trying to help my, my brother, you know, do well his junior and senior year. And then he, he moved on in this past year. I, um, you know, was still kind of helping out. We ended up getting two guys at the state tournaments. So I still wanted to kind of be involved in that um, and, you know, help those guys out. And then the, the one guy graduated, he's up at Cleveland state. Now uh, he ended up placing fourth his junior year. And that was pretty awesome. I mean, he's our first state placer since 2006, you know, and we cool. sent two guys. Who, to who's state. that? Uh, his name's uh, Aaron Morton. He's up at Cleveland uh, state now. Right? Nice. Josh, yeah. Josh Moore. Heck yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he's a true freshman at Cleveland State now. So he was a. And the funny thing about Aaron is he actually started wrestling his uh, freshman year in high school. So when I was a senior on the team. He was a freshman, and uh, he just came out for the sport. You know, just like just came out of the hallway. Oh, I'm joining the wrestling team. You know, and then so his freshman year, he's a dist- He's a district alternate. He gets fifth at the sectional. Um, doesn't go to districts, but he got. You know, he was like 13, 24, some varsity record. So, but he's he's an athlete, man. I mean, just, his athleticism is just incredible. And he, but he, uh, he bought into the program, you know, we, we wrestle year round, you know, uh, with the Columbus wrestling club, Brian church and Sergey Sergey Katai and all those guys. Um, we wrestle year round with that program. Uh, and that program is at Westville South. So that program is what is kind of brought Westville South to where it's at now, you know, uh, my bro- the success my, my brother had and then Aaron had, and then, uh, you know, we had a kid qualify this past year, another kid qualify this past year as a junior named a Fony Fabella. Um, the, the success that he's had, that kid started wrestling in eighth grade. So we have a lot of kids that start wrestling like seventh, eighth, ninth grade because um, we don't have like a youth program or anything. But all these kids, we they buy in and they wrestle year round and they just come out and then they just qualify for the state. You know, that's kind of what's been the or they, they do well at districts, they qualify for the state, whatever. Just a lot of guys come kind of come out of nowhere, kind of uh, late bloomers kind of thing. So um it's it's been awesome to be a part of that program you know i love seeing that program grow especially being like an alumni and we're not that great of a program you know but um but we're coming up you know we're definitely way we're definitely the culture there's way different now than it was when i was in high school you know where i was kind of the only one on the team that really kind of was passionate wrestling when i was there in high school because that one kid qualified for state my freshman year um i was really the only one that was passionate you know so it's all it was awesome to be a part of that and i so that kind of led me to want to become a teacher you know i was like oh i want to go become a teacher and a coach, you know, and go back and coach at Westville South, you know, and help out and teach, you know, whatever. And um, so that was kind of my, my play in the past three years. And then I just kind of further and further, I kind of got into the teaching major. I was just kind of like, like, I don't know if this is for me, you know, like I enjoy teaching and coaching, but I just don't know if I want to be a teacher the rest of my life. You know, like I want to do something more, you know, I want to be, I want to do something more. And then with, and then when, when my brother graduated and started doing the fitness thing, I kind of saw what, what, what that was kind of was seeing that grow. And I was like, man, like, what if I did something like that with, with the wrestling, you know? And, um, and then I was like, so I ended up deciding to change my, my major to uh, journalism, media communications, just awesome. because that kind of like aligns with, uh, kind of just, you know, media and social media, all that kind of stuff, you know? So I don't, I don't really want, want to become like a journalist necessarily. Mm-hmm. Um, even though I, I if, if I wanted to, I could probably do that because I'm very like passionate about statistics and everything. And I, I run the, uh, the central higher wrestling rankings, Instagram accounts. So I do like rankings. Oh, for all the that's central you. Higher- that's you. Yeah, yeah. No way. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I've seen that yeah. pop up. I didn't know that's you. That's yeah, yeah, cool. yeah. That's yeah. So yeah. So I, I'm 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 friends with uh, Mark Neiman and Sean Penn from inside the circle. I've yeah, been they're awesome. Like, cool. They're so awesome. Yeah, they are. Yeah. So I uh, so I I I I I pretty much just decided I was like, you know what? Like, because I've started making my own rankings. You know, I would. Mm-hmm. I'm just so I knew like all the kids, all all the coaches and people make fun of me. They're like, do you know every kid? Like. They're like, hey, how'd that kid do in high school? You know, I like know his record and stuff. I know like what he did at state or I know what he did at districts, whatever. So people make funny all the time about that stuff. But hey, if you really love doing the... it, if you love doing it, who can, right? Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's it just funny though, because I think the reason why I kind of like kind of got, got into that is because really, and this is another reason why I started becoming super passionate about wrestling that a lot of people don't really know about. But um, when Inside the Circle was kind of first came around, my it was it, it, that first started my uh, eighth grade year it was their first season, 2012-13. Okay. Um, so I, I first found out about it my sophomore year, 
uh, 2014-15 season. That was their season three for them. For Mark and Sean, I, I watched every episode. Like, I was like, awesome. because because for me, for me, I was like, I didn't think wrestling was like that serious. And I was just going, oh, whatever, just wrestling, you know. And when I saw that there was a show devoted to Central High Wrestling, I was like, dude, this is awesome. I was like, I want to be like, I want to be on the show, you know. Like, I, want, I want them to talk about me. So that made me want to work even harder, you know, to like try to be on the show kind of thing. It's like a high school I, kid. Like, yes, yes. And I... Uh, so yeah, so so that show really kind of you know, and then and then so I so I, I kind of lacked a lot of success in high school. I didn't really have a lot of success despite a lot of the work that I was putting in, and that obviously you know kind of hurt me a lot. I was just like you know just kind of mentally, I was like, why am I not you know I, I I didn't realize that like hard work doesn't always pay off, you know. So I didn't really discover that until like that happened to me. And I saw I've seen have happen to other people too, you know. Hard work doesn't always pay off sometimes, you know. Um, and so, but, but because that show, I, I followed a lot of the other central high wrestlers, you know, I'd follow what they would do. I'd try to find out what they were doing to be, become successful and stuff. And so as a result, I just ended up knowing all the kids. Like I knew all the names, I knew what schools they wrestled for. I knew what grade they were in. I knew the record. Like I knew just like as much information as I could know about them. When I was in high school, as a high school, like a lot of older guys, you know, guys in my grade, et cetera. And so then when I graduated, I was kind of helping out coach at South. It was kind of like the same way, but now I was trying to help the South guys like, you know, do well. So I was like, I knew about all the kids in their weight classes and I started making the rankings, like ranking our guys compared to these other kids from other schools. And so I've been, I've been making my own rankings since I think it was my freshman year in college. The 2017, 18 season was when I, was when I started creating my own rankings. And uh, I just had, it was like a Microsoft word document. I, I would rank like the top 20 each weight class. Um, you know, just so we trying to get like kids districts and stuff, you yeah. know, how, all right, where are we at in terms of like getting districts? So I'd rank the top 20 each weight class in DE1. I would like, there's like 47 schools or whatever. So uh, I would do that. And I was like, you know what? Like, why don't I just start posting these? Because people probably want to like see, like, I put so much time into doing these. Like, why don't, why don't I start making accounts or posting these? So I was like, but I didn't want to call it inside the circle though. Cause I was like, that's Mark and Sean's thing. Like, I want to call it something different. Mm -hmm. and, and, and they weren't on Instagram. Like there's inside the circle is not on Instagram. So I was like, Instagram would be a good platform to do it, you know, because they're not on there. I could make it like a different thing, you know. Right, so I just called right. it, I just called it, yeah, I, I just called it uh, Central High Wrestling Rankings, essentially, you know. And uh, and so I created that and started posting them last, I, I, I started posting last season. So that's when I started that Instagram account. Um, and so that's kind of where the whole journalism, you always make fun. They're like, oh, you're going to, you're going to become a sports journalist, you know, or something. Like people would say that about me or whatever. And, and I, and I was like, I don't know. I was like, I have no clue. So, right. But, but then here we are now, like I've, I've kind of, so, I mean, that is a path that, you know, I could do, I could do like wrestling media and stuff like that mm -hmm. probably if I wanted to. Um, but I'm really passionate about the YouTube thing, you know, I want to go all in with that and see where that takes me. So, uh, but yeah, but I mean, I, I'll probably still do the rankings and stuff, you know, but it does take a lot of time now. I, I, I haven't been as consistent with the rankings as I wanted to, because it's just so freaking, it's so hard to rank all these different kids and well, especially, especially this, this season. With, yeah. 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 It's like, I can't find results anywhere. Like there's, it's all uh, dual meets. And, and so I have people DMing me all the time. Like I'm trying to do all three divisions, you know, and I know Mark uh, and Sean don't, don't do D2 and D3 because they know how hard it is. And I remember last year I was like, I'm going to try to do D2 and D3 also. Like I think I was all big and bad and everything. And then I'm just like struggling to do freaking D1, you know, like I released my, my last set of rankings on it December 24th or uh, Christmas Eve. And I haven't touched the ranking since then. I'm like, I, I'm not, like, I'm taking a break for now. Like these, like, I'm just, I, I just feel so behind all the time on the rankings and just like, there's, there's so many matches going on duels and it was easier last year. It was all tournaments, you know, I could like right. just look at the, all the teams and see who plays and stuff. And, now it's just like, I don't even know who's wrestling who. So I've kind of just, yeah. and it I changes, mean, I, I, it I, changes I, the day of you think, Oh, they're wrestling yeah. night. And then it changes. Exactly. Yeah. So I, I, I mean, I'll, I'll probably try to get caught back up here when I get some time, you know, but just so busy with between like wrestling college, like trying to yeah. do the YouTube thing, be consistent with like my Instagram and YouTube. And then, uh, you know, doing that and, and then, you know, and later, and I'm, I'm not really helping out with Westville South as much this year, you know, so I've that freed up some of my time, you know, but, um, the other thing I just realized is like time is like such a valuable commodity, you know, and I, sometimes I spread myself so thin and I'm right. I just, like struggle, you know, and so I'm trying to have to like dial it back a little bit and like not involve myself in all these different things and just try to, you know, just try to go all in on a few things, like how to do with wrestling. instead of trying to just do everything, you know, and be involved in everything. Cause people ask me, like, dude, you're, I had a coach uh, tell me this off season. He was like, dude, you're involved in everything, dude. He's like, he's, he's like, what aren't you involved in? You know, cause I'm also the, uh, I'm involved in uh, USA wrestling in Ohio because of a uh, Brian church. He, uh, he was able to help me get the beach wrestling director position for USA wrestling in Ohio. And nice. so I, I got that a couple of years ago and I haven't had able, I haven't been able to do, do anything with that yet. Cause um, COVID kind of killed that this past off season, but 
Let, but, let's know, talk but, but, off air on that. I got so, I have some ideas on that. You know, living up here, okay, on the, yeah. I'm like Gary. That's uh for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, that's awesome. Yeah, I didn't know you. I didn't know your Central Ohio ranks and the beat. I didn't know that. Wow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so you, well, you yeah, have your hands on all all kinds of things. But at least you're yeah, aware, yeah, like I'm, you said, you're aware of. Okay, I'm spreading right. myself thin. Um, mm -hmm. But going back to the. You know, you said people think you're crazy. People thought Zeb was crazy the first time he was he was running around. He said him and Martin were whispering in these cameras, and people were like, "What what are these guys doing? <laughs> what like who are these yeah, crazy guys yeah. talking to themselves?" But uh, yeah, and then you're you said you weren't as successful as whatever. But that's perspective, right? You start mm -hmm. in eighth grade, right? You're you're wrestling in in college. How many people can say that? how many can right, say they started yeah. in eighth grade and here they are wrestling in college at, at right. starting you know four years five years ago so mm -hmm. so i wouldn't beat yourself up about that man that's pretty pretty yeah. uh pretty awesome but uh so that's crazy so you're you're uh the beach ohio, uh, usa wrestling ohio um beach was a director coordinator or whatever yeah 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 director of beach wrestling for usa wrestling ohio yeah. okay and then you do the rankings yeah wow, i didn't know that yeah mark and sean are, are awesome um yeah they're, they're yeah, really they good people you guys are blessed central house on the you know i was talking with brack and mead um he's on the previous episode but uh just what's going on in central Ohio right now right mm -hmm. you go back 10 years ago there wasn't you know all these clubs you got you know thatcher and palmer and rollins as his group and obviously pursuit you know obviously moran's been a long-standing guy and you yeah. know all the yeah. school clubs programs but yeah you guys are you guys are doing some big things in central Ohio, but i didn't know you're behind the rankings that's awesome yeah 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 and i enjoy doing them. i enjoy following all the all the kids you know and and and, and i'm not i try I, i'm not biased you know like obviously i'm, I'm westville south guy like everyone knows that you know i run the i run all the social media for westville south the twitter the instagram you know the facebook group like you know i run the columbus wrestling club instagram account you know ryan church runs the twitter account so i I'm, I'm, I'm heavily involved in social media. Like that's kind of my thing. Like I love social media. I've been doing that, you know, for years now. Like, I, I was running those accounts when I was in high school, you know, and, okay. um, and stuff like that. So I, I, but like, I'm not biased, you know, like I, I want all the central high kids to do well, you know, like I don't rank, I, you know, if you'll notice, like I, I, I purposely rank a lot of the Westville South guys lower than probably they should be, you know, because I don't want them because, because they all know I do the rankings too. You know, they all know, like, Hey, Sam, why are you ranking me so low? You know, <laughs> you're, you're stuck between a rock and a hard spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm like, you happy I'm ranking you low because I'm not putting a target on your back, you know. I'm like, if I rank you high, then everyone, everyone's gonna be running after you and like knowing who you are and stuff. So, but yeah, that account's been doing awesome. I think we're at like 1,700 followers or something on that account, you know, on for Instagram on that Central High Wrestling Rankings account. So it's been I started like last year. It was about this time last year I think I started. About I think I made the first post on it, like January of 20 uh, 2020. So. It, it's wow. come a long that's way. not yeah, come a long way right because there's only so much content especially you know yeah. out of yeah. season right so that's yeah, awesome exactly yeah so I, yeah right yeah so i, I personally post on there you know during the season but um but yeah i mean i i, I have a lot of parents you know that follow me i, I recognize the last names I'm like oh this is the last this is this kid's mom or dad you know i see the last name and stuff and so i got parents and coaches that follow me on there i, I get people dming me like hey so-and-so beat so-and-so and, and i like when they, when they do that because that helps me out you know i'm like oh yeah. thank you for sending this to me yeah I'm like, it'd be so helpful if I just, if I want to send me all the results, I don't, I don't have to go find them myself. Like, I feel bad for, uh, for Boro fan, you know, who, who does the state rankings. I don't, I don't know how he does that because he ranks the whole state D1, D2, D3. Every week. And I'm like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, I'm like, how do you do that? Like, like I, I email back and forth with him all the time. I've never met him in person. Like, I don't even know who he is or anything, but he's always emailing and asking me for results, you know, and I, oh, I try cool. to send him as much as I can. So That's yeah, awesome. me and him talk all the time. We email every week. I'm always he's always asking about the Westville South guys and um, anyone else that I know of. He knows he's not, he knows I'm a big Central High Wrestling guy. So, but good for you, man. So so if anyone's curious, it's on Instagram, right? Central was it? What's the yeah, handle? Yeah, at, yeah, at Central High Wrestling Rankings. It, it's kind okay. of a handful, but it's trying to make no. It just you have to. Yeah. And uh, we still have more to talk about. But what's what's your other handles? Just so I don't want to forget and leave it off. What, okay. What's, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So my, my personal Instagram, you guys can follow me on there, is just at Sam Shalvey, S A M, and then S H A L V as in Victory E Y, and then uh, at Central High Wrestling Rankings, and then I also run the um, Instagram account for the Columbus Wrestling Club, which is the local school club for Westville South High School, um, run by Brian Church and uh, Surya Katai. That's uh, at C W C Wrestling USA on uh, Instagram, and then it's the same at on Twitter, except uh, Brian Church runs the Twitter account. 
and then uh, also at uh, Westville South Wrestling on uh, Instagram as well. So those are so I have four Instagram accounts, and then one Twitter account, uh, the Westville South Wrestling Twitter account is uh, at South Matt Cats, and, that, and that's the only Twitter account that I have. I'm not I'm not I'm not really big on Twitter as much. Like I kind of figured out that Twitter isn't like that. I mean, in my opinion, this is just me like kind of taking it from the fitness influencer side of what a lot of the fitness influencer guys kind of do. They don't they're not as big into Twitter as much as they are like Instagram and YouTube, a lot of them. And, uh, you know, so I, I actually deleted my, my, my personal Twitter this past summer just cause I found myself like wasting a lot of time on it. You know, I was like, I'm not going to deal with this anymore. I'm just going to delete my personal Twitter. Just keep the Westville South wrestling Twitter. And I'll just keep that one. Just kind of, you know, post stuff about the what South team on there, you know, and follow the, follow the high school stuff. So I only follow like the high school stuff there on Twitter, uh, local high school teams, whatever high school wrestling, Ohio high school wrestling, um, and then my, per, I don't have a personal Twitter anymore, but, but yeah, but Instagram and YouTube is where it's at. You know, if you're trying to make it big on social media, Instagram, and YouTube is where it's at. And I know TikTok's coming along too, but I'm not a big TikTok guy. So <laughs> I'm too old for that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so you, you're a little, you're a little, obviously a lot younger, but, uh, that's more your generation. Yeah. But, um, so then your, yeah. your YouTube is, is that just your name or how that, how does someone find? Oh uh, yeah. 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 So YouTube's also Sam Shelby. Yep. Sam Shelby on YouTube, Sam Sh- or at Sam Shelby on Instagram. Yep. Mm-hmm. So they can just search up Sam Shelby and they'll find it. That's awesome. And, and it's uh, doing a kind of behind the scenes look, right? You talk about some of your episodes you've had so far. So people can come check you out and give you a subscribe. Yeah. Yeah. So I've got, I've got four on there so far for you, for, uh, for videos. The first one was just like, um, it was just like, like a four minute, you know, little edit of, uh, of like a home wrestling workout, just a, a video, a muted video with music over it. Just uh, me doing like a little home home uh, solo wrestling workout, you know, that was kind of my first idea for the first video. And so I put that on there. My, my brother actually helped me film that. He came over and helped me film that first oh, cool. one. Just Cause I, I want to have his help, you know, cause he's experienced with all that. So I, I helped him help me with the first one. The second one was uh, I, I just did like an in season uh, wrestling lift, you know, just one of our Otterbein lifts that we do. Um, I just, you know, filmed that over at the Otterbein university uh, just after practice one day, we just had a team lift. And so I just filmed that, you know, me, me and my buddy, uh, Jared set lift. Um, who actually is the other guy who won the wrestling philosophy show gear. I want to tag him in the post. And he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah. So, so Jared's like, Jared didn't even know what it was. He's like, what is this? I'm like, oh, I just tagged you. I want you to, you know, I, I did tag someone. So I tagged my teammate and here you are. So, 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 so Jared's, Jared's been wearing the beanie and he likes it a lot. So, uh, oh, nice. but yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So Jared, uh, so yeah, we filmed that little lift over there at Otterbein. That was the second video. The third one was, uh, a day in the life that one took a little bit longer that one's about 17 minutes long but i just pretty much just picked up the camera right, right when i woke up just filmed everything that day um and then you know tried to edit it the best i could and uh and so yeah that was like a, it, it's like uh, i i had like matt herpes last week mm-hmm. i somehow got that i don't know how but um because i wrestle you know i wrestle here at my in my house you know and I, I i'm off the mats every day i have i bought a bunch of stuff from defense soap actually Heck yeah. Sake. yeah i bought a bunch of stuff from him uh I, that was a big purchase. I bought like the um, foot mat cleaner with like the foot clean station, everything. Um, and so I, I have all that stuff and I clean the mats, you know, really well. Uh, and, and then Russ and Otterbein. So I got that Matt herpes. So I was like, you know, I'll just make a video about it. Like, I'm, I'm just trying to be authentic. You know, I'm, no, I'm it definitely about- was. It definitely was. Yeah. 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 Like I, I have nothing to hide. You know, like I want to no. be relatable, you know, like that's the biggest thing is it's, I, I want to tell like everyone, like how it is. Like if I, you know, if I, if I'm struggling, like I'm going to put a video out about it, you know, if I'm doing well and put a video out about it, you know, that's just, mm-hmm. that just because people like when you're like, when you're authentic, they don't like when, when you, you only show the good, the good parts of your life, you know, or the good parts of like what's going on. They, they want to see the whole spectrum because that's like relatable, you know? So, um, so I made that video about the Matt herpes, you know, then people can kind of like relate to that, how, how you treat that, whatever. And so I made that video, um, and I tried to create a good thumbnail. I've been messing with like Adobe Photoshop, you know, trying to get, get good at creating thumbnails and stuff. So I try to make a good thumbnail. I think I did, did pretty well on that one. Yeah, so for my, sure. Yeah. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah. Jacob texted me and told me it was good. So I was happy about that. But, um, and then the last one was, uh, I just did a little voiceover. Um, so it's it was basically the same home wrestling workout, similar to what I did in the first video, except this one was like a, a voiceover actually talking, like what I was doing, why I was doing it, et cetera, et cetera. So, and then the next video should be out here in the next couple of days. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to be as consistent as possible. My goal is to get, you know, one or two videos out a week, but that's easier said than done. You know, it takes a right. lot of effort and, and editing takes a long time. I, yeah. I figured out, People I figured have out. no clue what to make yeah. it just. Yeah, they have no clue. So. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. No. Yeah. So I guess, have you learned some things from that process? I know I've learned a lot from this, you know, doing the podcast. And then I think that's what, t- you know, we were talking earlier about Zeb and I's uh, barbarian hour 
you know, I've been telling, I was telling him for years, you got to get a podcast. You got to, and he's just a runner and gunner, as he says, he just shoots. So I was like, Zeb, I tell you what, let's do one. I'll edit. I'll do the whole thing. You just got to show up and he's like, fine, I'll do it. So, <laughs> but you know, I'm still learning. Um, what have you learned from that process? Yeah. I mean, I definitely learned like it takes a long time, you know, but it's kind of like with, with wrestling, like early on, like when you start off, it's, it takes longer, but then the more videos you do, the more content you create it gets faster. You know, like I know, uh, and, just, and just from hearing other guys, like that Ryan Dangler guy down at Ohio state, who my brother is good friends with, who he's blown up in the fitness industry on social media. Um, you know, Jacob was saying that it only takes him like four hours to edit a video, you know, where it takes Jacob, he's still kind of early on, it takes him like eight plus hours edit, you know, video total. And so, so eventually you get to the point where it takes you less time to edit a video, you know, um, and then you pump out consistent content, only taking four hours of your time to edit a video. So the more content you create, the faster you're going to get. But the biggest thing is just consistency. Um, and I figured, I also figured out too, like, it's not about how many likes and views you get on the, on the post or the, or whatever it is, or the video. It's just about being consistent over time. So, like Jacob, for example, you know, a lot of his, his pictures that he posts on his Instagram, you know, some of them will only get maybe 2,000, 3,000 likes, you know, which I know it's a lot compared oh, to. Some only, stuff. right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, exactly. But, but then been like every once in a while, you'll have a post that like hits the algorithm, so to speak, yeah. and it blows up and it gets like the one post I, I, I actually took this picture for him on Christmas morning. Uh, he was in front of the Christmas tree with his shirt off, you know, like just kind of flexing, you know, he has Santa hat on. He's like, oh, I need to take a picture because I'm in the fitness industry. He's going to be posting a picture like this today. <laughs> So I took a picture of him. I, that's funny. I, I, I like take credit for that. And did he give you? Did he credit? Did he credit you? Yeah. 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 <laughs> I, I, yeah. I sent the picture. He 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 ended up posting it. He yeah. wasn't sure if he's gonna post it or not. He's like, I might post it. He ended, he ends up posting it. It gets fifteen thousand likes on Instagram. It hit, hit hits the algorithm. It's his most liked post that he ha that he has on his page so far. You know. And I'm nice. like, so it's just kind of so. But but some some of his other posts only get like two thousand or three thousand or whatever. So but but because he was consistent and you know uses hashtags and all that good stuff, he uh, over time you know you'll eventually have a post that hits the algorithm and blows up. You know, nice, so you yeah. just have to be consistent. It's not about um, how many likes you get on a post. It's more just about are you posting every day or on your as far as Instagram goes for YouTube. Are you posting like once a week or twice a week? You know, stuff mm -hmm. like that. And is your content like quality? You know, as long as you're consistent with quality, that's the biggest thing. It's kind of same thing with like wrestling. Like it's a, it, it's a long-term process. It's not just like an overnight thing. You're going to go from being like a first year wrestler to state qualifier overnight. Like it may take a few years or so. Like it took Jacob, you know, two years to get to, to get his uh, fitness Instagram to where it is now. Mm -hmm. and now it's blown up, you know, then same with like Ryan Dangler and some of these other guys, you know, it takes, it takes just consistency over time. That's and it's the same thing with wrestling. That's why I know that like, it's it's a um it's a, it's a it's possible for me to do it because i've seen it happen for other guys just consistency so that's 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 really what kind of wakes me up in the morning is just being consistent like the 24 hours that you have in the day just be consistent and just do just uh, check off those boxes every day okay made my instagram post edited my youtube video posted a youtube video whatever it is and then you're good you know just do that just re repeatedly and then you'll be fine and you'll eventually make it you know Right. And it's a moving target, right? What you're working on, uh, you know, as freshman year of high school is different than what you're working on wrestling wise, right? Mm -hmm. It was different freshman to college to senior in college, same thing in the social media world. Things mm -hmm. change, right? The algorithm, you know, changes after uh, my cousin Bryce Roth, he coached at St. Mary's with me. He was saying uh, Facebook's is get, getting rid of their likes. Is that, I don't know if you heard that. Wow. Um, Oh, I I don't know. I see. Yeah. I it, it's kind of funny because like because yeah. Facebook is kind of like it's more like your your guys' generation, like, like yeah. the younger generation. Right. Like we're not we're not as in the Facebook, Instagram, right. and YouTube is like popular for like. But Facebook is big for kind of like older. Like not I shouldn't even say older. I don't want to. Like, no, call you guys no, I'm like, definitely older. Yeah, I'm definitely. Older. Yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> well, well, yeah, but well, yeah, but you're not like you're not like old old though. But just Facebook is kind of for like it's all perspective, man. It's all perspective. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel you, but like, but yeah, Facebook. My generation, like like Gen Z or whatever, we're not like as much on Facebook. I mean, we're like, there's people on there, you know, especially when you get to college, like who are creating a Facebook and stuff, you know, trying to whatever. But, um, but yeah, but I, I, I haven't heard that. Is Facebook getting rid of their likes? I have no clue. Yeah, I don't know either. And obviously Instagram, you know, is owned by Facebook. So who knows, you know, when that, you know, when that Instagram generation gets old, is that going to happen? So, yeah. Yeah. So who knows? Who knows? Like I said, Bryce is in, he's, he's got it going on. He knows, but, um, He's usually yeah, ahead of awesome. curve on things and gives me tips to keep me relevant on my uh, yeah. socials. But, you know, but, that's huge. It's, all, it's always good to have people, you know, uh, giving tips that are like, familiar with the process, like how social media works and stuff. Like, yeah. like I take advice from, from my brother, you know, and the people that have 
done well just like I would take advice from like a wrestling coach or someone who's been there done that you know kind of a mentor and it's, it's kind of it's like the same concept so right so, so you're a big Blue Jackets fan I see a lot of Blue Jackets uh, oh yeah, yeah 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 so yeah I mean I so it's, it's funny I used to um I used to go to a lot of Blue Jackets games I still mm-hmm. go a little bit uh Brian Church actually has uh season tickets to the Blue Jackets he's the um head, head club coach for the Columbus Wrestling Club and he's involved in the USA Wrestling Ohio as well so um, he'll he'll take me to some games here and there and so uh, um, but before that I was going uh, I, I I would usually go a lot uh, my my ex uh, stepdad would uh, take me to a lot of games um, so I, I accumulated a lot of blue jackets apparel kind of over the years and like posters and stuff so I just kind of hang, hang them up on the wall you know and so I'm not I'm not as I don't really watch sports as much as I used to like just kind of um, as I got as I kind of got more immersed with wrestling and um, all that like I don't I really don't watch football that much anymore like I don't really follow like NFL like, I used to follow NFL college hey, and everything hey, so heavily <laughs> yeah but I just I, about, I yeah but I just don't follow it really like I don't even know like how the like I, I was a big like I used to be a big Carolina Panthers fan I, sh- I should say I still am but like I don't know how they did this year you know like I don't follow I just don't follow as much as I used to because your time just like it gets taken other places and like I don't have time to sit down and watch a football game on Sundays you know I don't have time to right follow the blue jackets and follow whatever so i mean i still enjoy that i still like the teams you know and i still like root for them and then i'll follow them when they do well you know like, oh okay i'll tune in <laughs> oh, 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 the playoffs okay maybe i'll sit down and watch the game here but you know but it's just one of those things where it's like when i was younger and i had like less responsibilities and stuff i could like follow it more heavily and then as i, as I get older i'm just like there's no point even trying you know because i'm trying I'm, I'm, I'm doing too much i still have enough time today you know oh, i hear you on that you know trying to find follow all the wrestling of the different levels and yeah same thing with football this year well uh, yeah talk about a moving target right i don't know if you've seen uh nfl had one of the playoff games on nickelodeon because they're trying to get oh, the younger geez. generation yeah they had like graphics like spongebob on there and everything but wow. i guess it was I a big think- hit yeah a lot of like, screen graphics and things like that you know trying to track wow. the younger market but uh talk about yeah. a moving target and <laughs> yeah that's what you gotta do man that's what you gotta do they're they're you know they're doing the best they can so i'll, I'll applaud them for it and if it works for them great go for it so yeah for sure awesome so you have anything else to ask share or tell i know i've uh kind of you know asked a few you know what i had i'm what i was curious about and you got my mind going now all you're involved with holy cow man you're a busy man yeah, yeah. I mean, I enjoy it, though. You know, like a lot of people like say like, oh, yeah, you're, you know, you're busy. And I, I mean, I, I do enjoy everything that I'm involved in. And, and one thing I, I have kind of um, kind of going back and reflecting, like, all the different things I've been involved in up to this point in my life, like, I'd say like the big three being like, uh, Otterbein Wrestling, yeah, Wrestling College, um, the Columbus Wrestling Club, which I've been involved in since uh, uh, my junior high school when it first got moved to Westville South. And then obviously Westville South Wrestling, being involved in those three programs has really kind of um, shaped me into the person that I am, you know, the, the mentors that I had in those programs and uh, just the people that I've met, you know, in those programs, the experiences that I've had. Um, I was talking with Brian Church about this. And I, I, I told him that, you know, like being, being involved in those three separate entities, you know, um, kind of uh, over the past, you know, since 2015 has really shaped me into who I am today. So I really, I'm really thankful for, for being involved in all three of those programs. I'm thankful for Otterbein, you know, adding wrestling my junior high school and, you know, being able to be on the team and, and then now getting this extra year of eligibility to be around even longer, you know, and be able to soak in more information. Cause the other thing too, is I, uh, you know, so I'm like, I'm the kind of guy that um, I'm not only, you know, learning the moves in the room from coach Rassetter, who, by the way, like I think coach Rassetter is like a really underrated coach, you know, in the state of Ohio. Like I know, some people know about him, but I don't know how many people know yeah, about him. Like came from friends. Lexington. Yep. Yeah, 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 like, yeah, 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 yeah. He's coach, coach the Caspers, you know, among others, and um, so he had, he had a lot of success there, you know, and 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 he's a phenomenal coach. Like I, I cannot talk highly enough about him. Like he he's taught me so much, you know. Um, he's 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 like shown me the sport through a different lens. Like he's so good at teaching, like the progression of just you know how things work, and um, he's really helped me become you know the wrestler that, that I am today. Over the and past Coach Shorts years. there too, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know yeah, Coach Doug, Short. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doug, yeah, Doug Short's phenomenal too. He's American. Tell him cousin. I said what's up, man. I haven't seen him. Okay, yeah, yet. yeah. Well, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So yeah, they, we have a phenomenal coaching staff. You know, Brent Rassler and Doug Short are, are awesome. You know, we had uh, Jake Vaughn in the room uh, from mm-hmm. Columbus to Sales, and he's a stud. You know, he, he's good friends with Colin Palmer. So we just have all, all these different uh, people in the room that are uh, phenomenal resources mm-hmm. and. 
Um, so being a part of that program is really, I, I've, I've, I mean, Coach Rass there is a technician, man. Like he knows so much and, and, and I, I, I just pick his brain every single day in the room. You know, I want to learn, I want to know everything that he knows and uh, just all the different techniques and just how to, so I'm not only paying attention to how the moves work, but also the way that he teaches it because I want to go back and teach a lot of the stuff to the, you know, kids, like high school kids, whoever, you know, so I'm, I really pay attention to how, how he frames his teaching you know and being involved in education otterbein i know that you know i kind of it, it kind of hits home with me so mm -hmm. um so yeah so i i just i love otterbein wrestling you know i'm passionate about that i'm passionate about western south wrestling i'm passionate about the columbus wrestling club uh you know and then now i'm passionate about youtube and instagram so i'm just gonna Good keep you, man yeah keep going all in on, on all those things and see where it takes me so yeah keep your plate full man it's uh it's awesome what you're doing for the sport you know it's uh you know zeb and i had coach shuck from army on a couple weeks ago and you know most you know, you're not most like most college students where they're filling their plate up with positive things right and he says you know no one looks back and oh i wish i would have done more partying or i wish i would have done more of this and so fill that yeah. plate up with positive things man kill it keep killing it i uh i i enjoy following along like i said that youtube behind the scenes things because no one sees what it what goes into you know they just see the glory of sports mm -hmm. most of the time right they don't see the hard work you know you know oh i can't wrestle today because i have a skin infection or oh i'm overweight so i gotta go put put the you know extra workout in right jordan burroughs mm -hmm. was just on rogan talking about yeah i had to wrestle five matches then go cut eight more pounds <laughs> you know it's like right. no yeah. one sees that it's just that's yeah. the the beauty of the sport in a way right um right so so no well thank you thank you for your yeah. time it's, yeah, uh, no problem. Yeah, yeah, I appreciate you having me on. And then, as far as uh, recommendations go, because I know I know you asked that a lot of people. Yeah, show. yeah, uh, who, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I would recommend uh, Coach Rastetter. I've already talked about him. Uh -huh. Brent Rastetter, um, head coach at Audubon University, used to coach at Lexington. And then I would recommend uh, Brian Church, who's the head coach of the Columbus Wrestling Club, and he's an assistant coach at uh, Columbus Academy High School here in uh, Central High, a Division Three school. So cool. I recommend those two those two people to have on. So yeah. anybody you like following outside of Ohio for wrestling content? Any you um, I'm trying. To, well, I do enjoy. I have been watching, uh, you know, Fanko Wrestling, that Fanko Wrestling YouTube channel. Who follow? He does a lot of the college stuff. Um, I've been watching him. I've also been watching uh, that guy, Stalemates. The Stalemates, Stalemates is channel. killing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah <laughs> he's yeah, fun, yeah. man. We've needed yeah, something like him for a while. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's so funny. I watched the whole series with like the Willie Trials. Like that, <laughs> that was so funny. Like I was just crack. I watched every single episode. And it was just like I was cracking up. So it was just so funny. But, uh, but yeah, so that, that, that's kind of who I follow outside of Ohio um, as yeah. far as like wrestling content goes, but I enjoy all that stuff. You know, I watch, uh, uh, I know uh, Joe Williamson does like the grow wrestling. Yeah, like, the yeah. wrestling YouTube channel. I follow that. Great you know, guy. That. Great guy. Yeah. So I, I, I follow all that stuff. You know, I, I'm, I'm on, I, I'm on flow watching that stuff. I'm on rock fan, you know, watching stuff on there. So just, I mean, that's, that's what I do in my free time. You know, like I, yeah. my time is obviously like valuable. I'm involved in a lot, you know, but when I'm driving, I put that stuff on when I'm making food or whatever, I got my headphones on in the morning, listen to that stuff. So nice. Nice. Awesome. Well, thanks, Sam. I appreciate it, man. Uh, looking forward to, to more content coming from you and uh, you know, keep in touch, man. Don't be a stranger. Yeah. I appreciate it, Jared. Thank you so much.